Hello, in today's tutorial, we'll look at uh, osmotic pressure. A solution and a solvent are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, which allows solvent but not solute molecules to pass through. As time elapses, the volume of the pure solvent decreases and that of the solution increases. This flow of solvent into the solution through the semi-permeable membrane is what we call osmosis. Because at this point, the levels of liquid are different, there is a higher hydrostatic pressure on the solution than that on the pure solvent. This excess pressure is what we call osmotic pressure. Let's look at this example. To determine the molar mass of a certain carbohydrate, 2.0 times 10 minus 3 gram of it was dissolved in water to make 1.00 milliliter of solution. The osmotic pressure of this solution was found to be 1.56 millimeters mercury at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the molar mass of the carbohydrate. We know that osmotic pressure is equal to MRT, where pi is osmotic pressure in atmospheres. M is molarity. R is gas law constant or universal gas law constant T is Kelvin temperature we should always convert pressure into atmospheres we know that one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeters mercury. In this case, we have 1.56 millimeters mercury times one atmosphere over 760 millimeters mercury. So this will cancel. We, we now divide. When we divide, we'll get 2.1 times 10 to the power negative 3 atmosphere. So this is our, os uh, our osmotic uh, pressure in atmospheres. Solving for M gives, we now make M the subject of the formula to so that we calculate the monarity. M is equal to pi over R T, which is equal to our osmotic pressure is 2.1 times 10 to the power negative 3 atmospheres over R 0.0. 8206 liter atmosphere per Kelvin per Kelvin mole 25 degrees which is 298 Kelvin and we calculate the atmospheres cancel Kelvin cancel, cancel. Then now we have M is equal to 2.1 times 10 negative 3 over, we, when we multiply, we'll get 24.56, 24.5, 24.45 liter per mole. 
then we divide or we'll get 8.6 8.6 times 10 to the power negative 5 more per liter so this is our molarity we have now calculated the molarity from the molarity we can determine the number of moles we have 8.6 times 10 to the power negative 5 moles in this solution per liter then 1 2.0 times 10 minus 3 grams was used, was dissolved in 1 milliliter of solution. We know that 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter. So in this case, we have 2.0 grams per liter. You simply multiply it by 1000. So this is the mass of protein per liter. We know that moles is equal to molar mass, mass over molar mass. Moles is equal to mass over molar mass. The number of moles given, which is 8.5. So now we make molar mass the subject of the formula. Molar mass is equal to mass over moles, which is equal to our mass per liter is 2.0 grams over number of moles calculated 8.5 times 10 minus 5 moles, which is equal to, then we divide, we'll get. 2.3 times 10 to the power 4 grams per mole. So this is how we can uh, calculate. So in this case, the molar, the molar mass of the carbohydrate is equal to 2.3 times 10 to the power 4 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass of the carbohydrate. That is how we can calculate it. In the next tutorial, we'll look at uh, isotonic solution. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.